you can take images, pictures, uh, you know, just um, static things, even moving things, we'll talk about that later, into a P5.js sketch. I'm going to show you real quickly some things that you can do and how you would do this. So uh, I'm just going to take this picture of Weirdo the cat. Um, she has her own website. So you can pull things uh, down from online. In fact, it's the easiest way to do it is to actually download the file and then put it onto uh, into your sketch uh, that way. So uh, I'm just going to take this and drag it over here. And after a moment, we can see there she is, downloaded. Uh, and now inside of uh, the P5.js editor, here, uh, normally this is collapsed, this little menu bar thing. So uh, we want to open this up and then click on the arrow right here and upload a file. So you, all you can do is just take this and drag it in there and you'll get a little check mark. Everything's cool. Uh, and here is the picture of the cat. Now it doesn't display, but it's now in the same folder as our index sketch and style. I'm just going to rename this. Uh, it's a little bit easier. So uh, now this is in the same directory. And what I want to do is I want to create a variable that is going to hold the image. Uh, and after that, the next thing that I want to do is I want to add a new function in here. And this is a function. It's another special function. It's called pre, uh, uh, preload. So um, what this does is uh, it runs prior to setup. And this is important because uh, what preload does is it blocks the rest of your sketch from executing until it completes its task. So this is useful because let's say you try to call your image or sound file or video before it's done loading, your sketch won't run. Uh, so this makes sure that everything's loaded into the sketch's memory and it'll be, uh, it'll be good to go. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say uh, img image equals uh, load image, and load image is the function that will that actually takes the, the the picture that you want and pops it into this variable to reference later. Uh, so I'm just going to say load image uh, weirdo dot jpeg, and that's it. Uh, so um, you know, I'm gonna let me change this to window width and window height. Uh, and now inside of my draw loop, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to say image img zero zero. Now what this does is it sets it says okay p5 draw an image. Uh, this is the image that you're going to draw, which is loaded up here. And then uh, these coordinates right here correspond to the top left-hand part of the of the image and where it's going to start drawing. So if I just do it like this and run it, um, whoop, I misspelled that. Preload is lowercase l. It's not camel case. Sorry about that. Uh, so here we can see um, I've loaded the image. The cat appears. This is now the best sketch I've ever written. It contains this cat. So uh, now the um, there are a couple things that we kind of get uh, out of this too. Uh, if we wanted to do something like this, where um, the we had an image following our mouse around, uh, we can just do something like that, and then you'll see the now what it does is it sticks to uh, the cursor at the top left hand corner. Uh, now, when we do this, obviously it's gonna. In this case, it's gonna like move off screen because the cat is needs this much space because her personality is so large. Uh, so what we can do is we can set another uh, attribute here that says where to stop drawing or how to scale it. Uh, now we've got um, uh, a couple sort of gimmies here. Uh, and so we could say, let's say we wanted to draw this at like one quarter of the uh, the the size, right? 
um, we can say img.width, and this is an attribute of the image. Uh, so we can say image width, and then img.height uh, divided by four, right? And now we'll get um, a, a, a quarter scale version of the cat. Uh, so this is um, this is how you can add images in. This is how you can scale them. If you wanted to, you could just type in absolute numbers here too. Uh, if you wanted to like sort of like scale it funny, All right? And then you've got a squeezed cat. Uh, but this is how you load images and get them uh, into your sketch.